So let's bring in Congressman Brian Babin in Texas. And of course, Texas got the worst of it, but not all of it when it comes to how Texas has been affected. Congressman, when the numbers go up in Texas at any point, does everyone, anyone ever bring up that the illegals are coming in here, not exactly vaccinated, uh, not even tested? Absolutely. Uh, great to be with you three. <clears throat> and uh, I can tell you that Texas has taken the brunt of this. And it's all because of the invitation, basically, that the Biden administration has made starting back when he was a, a candidate for president. Uh, he has reversed these wonderful policies that worked uh, and that, that were developed by President Trump back during his trial at the border. And that was back in 2019. And uh, incredibly, we saw Secretary of DHS uh, Mayorkas uh, this week uh, testified uh, in front of the uh, uh, Homeland Security Committee and said that the border under Biden is no less secure than under President Trump. And that mm -hmm. is the biggest whopper I've heard probably in 25 years, because as he said that, that's when there were 15,000 illegal immigrants that were underneath that bridge. And the numbers, you're right, you're right. They don't add up. What's happening? The last I heard that there were less than 2,000 uh, <clears throat> Haitians that were returned and repatriated. Uh, and there's, uh, there's still a, a thousands and thousands of illegals that are unaccounted for. And it's a shell game, exactly what they did uh, early in the year when I went down to the Donna facility and saw kids in cages, kids yeah. in these in these uh, cells. Uh, and uh, then just a few days later, they took pictures of these kids that uh, that were, were there. And now all of a sudden, these cells are empty. All they did was move them across yep. the street. To, That's to military exactly bases. what's happening. To military bases. <clears throat> and, and, That's con right. and Congressman, you know, the reason the administration is stonewalling, and when you were referring to Secretary Mayorkas, he wouldn't even give a ballpark number of how many people have been deported. It's because Joe Biden no. has got a problem. The Republicans want our southern border <clears throat> stronger and the democrats don't want anybody deported so if they give a number then it's like oh look what joe biden's doing he can't win either way and ultimately what's going on we can't win either way well steve we know what the grand strategy of the democrat party is they want to change america a hope and change and it started under obama and now it's really going at just race horse speed and uh, they want to change America, and they want to uh, they, they want to replace the American electorate with third world immigrants that are coming in illegally. Many of them COVID positive, uh, 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 drug resistant tuberculosis. I'm a health care provider. I can tell you it's a disaster mm -hmm. uh, down there from a public health uh, standpoint. And they are just want to change the electorate and put these people on a path to citizenship, enfranchise them with the vote, and have a permanent majority. On every phase, we can see every aspect the Democrats are trying to change America from what we know, what we love, and what we have enjoyed for 244 mm -hmm. years. Right. And it's, a, it's despicable. His approval rating is taking a big hit. If you look back in July, 55% of the folks approved Biden in September, 44%. Disapproval in July, it was 43 In September, it was 53%. This is going to be right. a big hit. And what is this going to look like midterms or in three years? Well, we're looking at probably... Uh, you know, we'll have two million come across this year, by the end of this year. At the end of, of Biden's administration, <clears throat> his four years, he'll have eight, eight million. Eight million illegals will have crossed. He has no intention, the Democrats that he has surrounded himself with have absolutely no intention of, of securing this border. Right. And uh, so what we have here is a constitutional crisis. And I'll tell you, our, our governor, uh, Greg Abbott, in the great state of Texas, has it within their power constitutionally. The U.S. Constitution, Article 4, Section 4 of our Constitution, says the federal government will guarantee each state a Republican form of government and also protect us from invasion. 
and it, they are absolutely not obeying the law. They are putting many, many people in danger on every aspect, terrorism, criminal activity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, drugs, uh, uh, pu public health, you name it, it's happening. And uh, the governor needs to continue what he's doing, and that is stepping up with our Department of Public Safety, with Texas National Guard, and start securing that border ourselves. And I've been very proud to see them happening, uh, see that happening, and I want to see it happen a lot more because that's the only thing that's going to save this great republic of ours. It's got to be quicker. It's got to be quicker. It, it's taken way too long. Uh, by the <coughs> way, as to, uh, Lindsey Graham tweeted out, the coyotes and cartels will appreciate the Biden administration removing border patrol agents on horseback because they're quite effective. That's another thing they're doing. Without even understanding the, the terrain and what they were doing, they just banned it and condemned it, and that's what they want to investigate. I got to ask you, too, how does all this lead to impeachment? Uh, the, you're one of the people signing off saying the president should be impeached. Where's this going? Well, with, with us in the minority and with Pelosi in charge in the House, uh, it's probably not going anywhere. We have to have some Democrats to uh, successfully impeach the president or anybody that he has, uh, or any of his subordinates. But many of them need to be re removed. I am on uh, my good friend Bob Gibbs from Ohio. He's got articles of impeachment uh, against uh, President Biden. He's the absolute most incompetent uh, commander in chief that we've ever seen. I think, I know in my lifetime, and I'm an, I'm an Army and Air Force veteran myself. And the, the things that he's done on the border, stopping the great policies uh, that President Trump came up with, and we talked about that earlier, letting thousands of COVID-positive individual migrants come across illegally into our country, uh, stopping, unilaterally stopping the federal uh, uh, mandate for evictions mm -hmm. uh, against the warning of the, of the uh, Supreme Court, and then the Afghanistan de de debacle. Uh, having left Americans there, left 85 to 90 billion dollars worth of assets there, yep. and not having a plan to get American citizens out are our allies. Got it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Congressman uh, Brian Babin from the great state of Texas. Congressman, thank you very much for joining He's us. He's a veteran. His son, Navy SEAL, who wrote the book with Jocko Wilnick, has been on our Life. show before. Life.